The father of a toddler who died after being left in a hot car for hours facing a judge today. Happening right now in Danbury, Kyle Seitz is about to stand before a judge facing charges of criminally negligent homicide in the death of his 15-month-old son. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. Seitz turned himself into police last night. News 8's Brian Spiros has been sitting in that courtroom all morning long. He joins us live in Danbury this midday with the very latest. Brian? Well, good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone. Kyle Seitz walked into Danbury Superior Court earlier this morning with his lawyer. He had his head down and he didn't say anything to any of the members of the media who had gathered as he walked into the building. As we speak, he is still awaiting to go before a judge for his arraignment. Now, Seitz actually turned himself into police yesterday after learning there was a warrant for his arrest four months after the death of his son. Police say 36 year old Kyle Seitz left his 15 month old son Benjamin in a hot car for several hours as the temperatures climbed into the upper 80s. Seitz was supposed to bring his son to daycare that day, but instead drove straight to work, forgetting about Benjamin in the back seat. Seitz later found his son in the car and took him to the hospital, but it was too late. The young boy had died. The medical examiner ruled the toddler's death a homicide in August. Seitz is now charged with criminally negligent homicide. I feel bad for Kyle Setz and and uh, I hope we can find peace from there, you know, because I have two children of my own and I can't imagine having to go through that. But, you know, I guess accidents happen. Raising two children, I always knew they were in the back of my truck, but that's just me. Now, Lindsay Seitz has stood by her husband during all of this, saying that he's a good father and that this accident, it could have happened to anyone. Now, News Hate has also learned that the Seitz family has moved out of their Ridgefield home. My colleague Stephanie Simone is inside that courtroom right now, waiting for Seitz to go before the judge, and she will have much more on this story coming up tonight on News 8, starting at 5 o'clock. That is the very latest. We are reporting live from Danbury, Brian Spiros, News 8. Brian, thank you, and stay with News 8 for continuing coverage of the story. We will have the very latest on the details from the courtroom coming your way tonight on News 8 at 5 and 6. And, of course, you can always get the very latest updates on our website at WTNH.com.